come to the end of my pin basting and I'm now going to take this off and repin it to the quilt top so that it is pinned to the leader and even. wind it up now. I have removed one of my bars because I only use two. I've been pin basting my quilts for 20 years and I do that because I think it gives me a more accurate finished quilt, especially if the quilt has any problems and is wavy at all. It allows me to be able to stretch it a little more between my bars and get that waviness to go out and push it. It also allows me to be able to roll back and forth on the quilt and change colors numerous times um, as I go along. I just remove the pins in the area that I'm quilting and now it's all ready to quilt. I'll remove the pins in the area that I'm going to quilt. I'll leave the pins in in the area that I'm not going to quilt. And I can just roll it back and forth until I'm all done. And the quilt is pinned to the rail, so it's perpendicular. Uh, I mean, it's parallel to the bar, and it squares it up nicely. <laughs>